Uh, another big deal tonight are the kids. I mean, I'm getting calls right now from my um, uh -huh. soon-to-be meteorologist who's five years old. Right. Wants to know if Uncle Scotty is going to make it rain tomorrow night. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, what do you mean, like money make it rain? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Make it rain up mean? in here. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, sure. Well, if he didn't say up in here, then it doesn't mean money. He didn't say yeah, that. that's right. Uh, yeah, I, I don't make the I don't make the weather, but I can tell you what's going to happen. I don't have that much power, and sorry, uh, little Paul, it's going to rain. Uh, yeah, so then you got to have mommy figure out the costume Thanks. for you. Fort Worth Skycam showing about 70 degrees right now. Plenty of sunshine with winds out of the north and northeast at 15 miles per hour. So a breezy. Evening developing because of the cold front that is passing its way through North Texas. Our temperatures starting to drop behind the front, and you can see in some spots of the metroplex that 24 hour temperature change down by as much as 10 degrees in some spots. So across the metroplex, mid 60s in Den, 66 in South Lake, still 73 in Mansfield to 76 in Terrell, where the front has not pushed its way through yet. Not a big blast of cold air on the way, but we're still seeing that frontal boundary working its way north to south, and it's still 62 now in Gaines. Already down to 61 in Bowie. So cooler air definitely on the way, and our winds also are breezy this evening behind the front. Right now, sustained near about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So you will notice that when you step on outside. And our meteorologist, Annalise Parks, is outside tonight at a pumpkin patch and a corn maze, and you have the coat on now. Did it get a little bit cooler, Annalise? <laughs> Uh, yes, you could say so. 30, 30 minute uh, difference from that last hit where we were in the corn maze. I hopped in the car, I hopped back out, and all of a sudden I was quite chilly. So grab the jacket. I've got my little helpers. What's your name? I'm Ellie. And you are seven years old from? From Dallas? Mm -hmm. Dallas. Okay. She's given me some good moral support, having fun here at Hall's Pumpkin Farm. Look behind me. This is just one of the many creative photo ops. So, this is unlike many other pumpkin farms because they have countless really neat photo ops for families to come out. We have seen countless families getting their photos with their little ones, a lot of little babies having their first Halloween and those first important photos out here, too. So, a lot of creative little places where you could go and get the photos. Of course, Pick up that last minute pumpkin, and we will be open. This place is open till 8 o'clock tonight as well as tomorrow. Let's get you to the forecast. You want to come out and join us? Grab the jacket as we were talking about. The wind is picking up. It's chilly. Temperatures falling into the 60s as we go on from here and quickly in the 50s by 9 o'clock. So it is going to be chilly. Speaking of chilly, so is tomorrow as well as on the wet side. Unfortunately, that afternoon and evening forecast, it is going to stay quite wet, a 60% chance falling to about 50% by 7 with cool temperatures. So trick or treat going to be a little bit on the cool and wet side for tomorrow. Again, Scott, if people want to come out and join us, it's packed and for good reason, a lot of fun here at Hall's Pumpkin Farm. That's right. And you can see a celebrity out there. Annalise has her shades on so she, people don't recognize her and everything too. Is that right? Nice. Thanks, Annalise. <laughs> you know really it. appreciate it. A whole lot of fun out there. And maybe you need that pumpkin just real quick. And as Annalise talked about, a wet day tomorrow, temperatures in the 50s for us. So let's get you the reason why. Cold front's passing its way down to the southeast. The cool air is in place. Moisture return up and over that cooler air mass. And then you see some upper level energy west to east push, push in. And as that pushes its way on in, we're going to be seeing our rain chances go up to about 60%, a high only 58 degrees. And then as we take a look at the seven day forecast quickly, Trying to get that to pop up there for you. It's not happening, but I can tell you that the seven day forecast, there it is, shows you 78 degrees back by Wednesday. Rain chances 20% in the morning, back up to near 90 by Thursday. And then this weekend, temperatures in the 80s with partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies and daylight saving time ends. So we gain an extra hour of sleep, which means more sleep so I can watch some more college football, Bill.